greetings. This is for the Taurus team. This is our bi-weekly uh, reading. This is January the 15th. I mean, January the 1st through the 15th for the bull gang out there. This is for the bull and you. All right. We got a new deck here. I'm trying out. Uh, um, I wasn't going to get this deck, but I decided to go ahead and get it and see if I like it. If I don't like it, I will be uh, donating it, <laughs> you know, because you got to got to go feel the energy. You can't open them up. So here it goes. Let's see if I feel this deck. So Taros, you got first dibs on this new deck. Woo, the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, y'all coming in there with a happy union. Uh-oh, Two of Swords. You guys are dealing with somebody that is not at home. You guys are not talking. There is some miscommunication going on there. Four for four. Y'all could be seeing the fours. I said that at 55. All right, so you guys are not on speaking terms. Both of your, your soulmates, your, your husbands or wives or significant others, Laying in bed, turned around on your phone. So we know you guys are not communicating. That's that fake shit people be, you know, portraying in a day, but at night they be like that. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys are getting back in the gym, working out, feeling good, looking good. Got that magnetism on fleek, baby. Hot mama summer coming. Y'all trying to tone up. All right, y'all trying to tone up. Let's see what's going on with this deck here. That's too many right there. They still kind of stuck together. There we go, spirit. I only want one, one or two. Emperor coming in there. And we got the five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we got somebody that knows how to play chess and not check us here. Somebody very strategic, business savvy, uh, very uh, mentally, intellectually stimulated. Uh, okay, you all can be dealing with a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is well-balanced, well-structured, well-disciplined. Five of swords in energy. You guys uh, could have had family disruption with the five of swords, said some harsh things in front of y'all children, and y'all got y'all children upset. All right, y'all used to be a happy family, but right now you guys are fussing in front of your families, uh, your children, and it is really taking a toll on the mental health of your children. Take that high resonate. Hang man, somebody is laying in the bed uh, reflecting, okay, over something. Can't, they can't get out. It could be Aquarius here, okay? Ooh, let's see what's going on with this. There, that two of swords. See, y'all causing division in y'all family, whoever this is. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, do we see Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? Maybe. Oh, because we're on Taurus reading. That's why. All right. So then the Wheel of Fortune. Y'all are trying to turn things around, need to work things out. Um, Y'all are dealing with time, destiny, and fate uh, to work through some type of marriage uh, disruption. Uh, and this could be any sign y'all dealing with, but this is the Taurus reading. All right. Somebody that's a boss, uh, got their own company, need to stand up and be a man, uh, need to be take leadership over their family. The Knight of Pentacle, y'all got some offers coming in, uh, some abundance coming in. You guys, that's a marriage proposal or some commitments or a job. Like, I feel like you guys want a separation or this has already happened uh, due to the lack of, of, of effective communication. Ace of Sword, the truth is about to come out about what broke this family up. All right, Will of Fortune, Destiny and Fate, it was meant to happen for some of you guys. You got Leo, you regained some inner strength. Uh, okay, some resilience, Ooh, some balance in your lower uh, nature. High priestess, y'all are getting some guidance from a grandmother, a maternal figure, right? A spiritual mother. You guys are stepping into your intuition. That's the eight of cups. You guys are dissatisfied with what you're getting in this marriage. If you've not already divorced, I kind of feel like it's coming for some of you guys out there. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, that you could be dealing with an Aries, right? So this is the eight of cups. You guys are remorse. You're thinking about following your own intuition. Somebody is definitely unhappy in a marriage here. Uh, could be, like I said, a, a earth sign, tar sign. Uh, high priestess, you guys are following your intuition, following your uh, your grandmother, spiritual mother's guidance, maybe consulting a tarot reader or somebody to see, you know, to seek some answers. Woo! Or what to do? Nine of sword. Somebody's losing sleep. Page of cups. You guys are playing with your intuition. You guys are developing your intuition, following that intuition. But some of you guys are definitely plagued. So page of cups in the center. Nine of sword there. The knight of sword. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is thinking about coming back from y'all past. All right, that's the six of swords. They feel you guys are moving on, and they are not happy. Who is this? There is that queen of wands. Woo! And that high priestess. This person could have had an affair with somebody that had red hair. Okay. What is this? 
the Ten of Wands, this person was doing some of everything. Y'all were like a superman, superwoman out there doing everything. You guys got burned out. You guys were almost about to let yourself go, but I feel like y'all got y'all ass back together again. Y'all got that flare back and y'all went on. But for some of y'all, your person had an affair with somebody at the gym. So if your person was going to the gym a lot, yeah, that's why. They had Hot Mama Summer at the gym, all right? And we know a lot of people at the gym don't do nothing but sleep around with the people at the gym, damn near, because else they're going to try to hit on you some way or the other. All right, Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Four of Cups, and that's not for everybody, all right? But I'm just saying, I've been there, I've seen it, I've done, I, I ain't done it, but I've seen it. I've seen it done is what I'm saying. But definitely people will definitely try to holler at different people. My son and daughter were fitness trainers. So, and our fitness trainer. So I know the stories that come with the gym. So, uh, there you go. So if they going to the gym, your ass better get up and go with them. I'm just saying, whoever that is, hot mama summer up, up there. Look at that. Let me go. Let me, let me, let me, let me, before we go any further, let me just show y'all. See that? That's the middle energy. That's the heart of the matter. Bam. There she go. All right. So now, you know, don't say I didn't tell you. All right, if y'all want to deny it, deny it. And under the car, you got the four of cups. Somebody has definitely been drinking, celebrating, uh, going out, partying. Somebody definitely thinking about the past where you guys used to entertain, possibly go out together, four of cups with this emperor. Y'all got a little flashy something. Look at there, the magician. So y'all do got somebody, queen of wands. Somebody is doing some magic to break y'all family up. They probably already did it. Uh, again, y'all were dealing with a hot mama summer. Y'all did everything for the family. Y'all were like Superman, Superwoman, like I said. And now the will of fortune has come. Y'all got tired. You got burnt out. And again, your person feels like y'all are moving on or have moved on. Or this is somebody coming back from y'all past that y'all did get a divorce. This could have already happened for some of you guys. Or this is definitely about to happen. And the truth is about to come out in this matter, right? Here's the tower moment. We're already starting out. There's our page of pentacles. Somebody want to come back and apologize and say they are sorry. All right. Oh my God. What the fuck is this? Let's see who this is. All right. See, five of sword again. Fussing in the children. Uh, being, you know, saying nasty, harsh things in the children. Somebody's working on their healing tower moment. They've had an enlightenment. They now see what they have done wrong. And who is over this 10 of wands? Somebody malicious, somebody, 10 of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody that feels like they have to, they, they've done it all. They carried the weight. They, they had a lot on their plate. They didn't have any help. Uh, it was like a one man show marriage. You guys had somebody that partied a lot. All right, look at there. The contract, relationships, partnerships, Gemini, Libra, Chris. This person is in a third party, whoever this is. Take out what parts resonate because I'm, I'm getting multiple messages. That's why I'm bouncing around, y'all, because this energy is fucking bouncing around here. Uh, y'all got Mr. Flash, uh, Ghoster over here, the Knight of Sword, trying to come back and stop y'all from leaving, from moving on. Gemini, Libra, Queers. Y'all got a Magician here and a Nine of Cups. Somebody is trying to manifest now the love of their life, a happy home, a happy family. And then look at their wish fulfillment with the Star card. So this is somebody trying to now uh, recover it, go back out there, get back out there, feel good about themselves. Look at there, got the strength and the courage to get back out there, mingle and mix and mix your mingle. Now here come your person with the boat and the yacht. They may fish, Mr. King of Cups. They might be a little naturistic person. Very down to earth. Yes, the Six of Pentacles. Somebody that's going to provide y'all with that balance, that time and that emotion that y'all didn't get from the person y'all was married from. King of Sword, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all got another person. Ooh, y'all got multiple people. Eight of Wands. You guys are moving forward. Things are about to pick up really fast for some of you guys. And probably in about, a, uh, about eight days, eight days to eight weeks, you guys are going to be moving forward. You guys are going to be getting that, leaving that divorce, that separation behind. I'm going to leave that Five of Sword right there. Let's see did I cut that deck? I did. So the bottom was, uh, uh, I believe, was the legal uh, work. I mean, not work. Contract, divorce, partnership, child support, alimony, whatever's owed to y'all. Let's clarify this. This uh, this breakup with this person that has their children has witnessed and possibly will testify for some of you guys on how they were treated. You know, the abuse, the infliction. Y'all gonna have to need some family counseling. Whoever the fuck this is. Or arguing in front of their goddamn children. Y'all, that's that dysfunctional narcissist shit, all right? Where you arguing in front of your children, they hearing everything. You know, you guys are yelling and screaming. Somebody could have some brown, dark hair, or somebody could have some blonde hair with some, uh, or either a gold wig or something, right? And you guys are, are uh, again, you know, you may have a son and a daughter, and you, you're arguing in front of your daughter where there used to be 
a happy family. So we're going to clarify this for y'all Tauruses out there. Damn. What? Whoa. You guys have reached a higher level commitment or you guys are need to go to counseling. Somebody needs some mentoring. The two of sword. Okay. Judgment. Whoa. Spirit is not liking this. So whoever is currently doing this, you guys need to stop and get some fucking help. All right. Cause you guys are creating dysfunctional children uh, with problems and children remember everything. So again, Hierophant and Judgment, the universe is sounding judgment on this, fuck, this fuckery for you guys to stop, get some balance in y'all life, and cut that bullshit out. Ooh, cut that fucking partying out, you know, that celebrating all that drinking that you guys are doing. Who is this Will of Fortune, Destiny, and Fate? Somebody was breadcrumbing you guys. Somebody been stealing y'all finances. Somebody has been trying to cause problem with y'all destiny, y'all fate. Uh, good fortune, good health. This is stressing somebody out. This is somebody not dedicating the time and energy toward to fix this or balance this marriage or this legal issue out or talk things out. Okay. You guys are spending separation time. You may be sleeping together, but you ain't together. You just got a person in the bed, but you ain't got them in the mind, the emotion and nothing else. Okay. So let's see the ace of sword. Yep. Somebody is definitely, con somebody is definitely thinking about coming toward y'all speaking up, uh, you know, again, the truth, wanting a higher level, uh, uh, a higher level commitment, wanting to explain something uh, again about what happened at the it's page of cups. So this is using your intuition. This is somebody beginning a new phase in life. Uh, again, you're, you're playing with your intuition. You're sharpening your skills. Some of you guys may have developed into a high priestess title wise, right? Using the energy is what I'm meaning. The title wise of the energy, right? Of a grandmother or y'all listening to your guidance of your higher self. All right, so again, woo, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some of y'all have got the, y'all may have already got a divorce and this is what has happened to some of y'all or this is what now is about to happen to some of y'all. The Nine of Swords, somebody lost a lot of sleep over the years, the last nine years. Look at there. With the Eight of Pentacles, y'all did all the work, investing up, staying up late, uh, you know, dealing with your negativity or negative thoughts. Uh, again, somebody got anxiety. They trying to work through depression. They trying to work through insomnia. They trying to work through some of you guys are going to be getting an offer to go to work somewhere else. Uh, okay. To go back to school or to balance some things out, some truth and some downloads are definitely about to happen. I'm burping for some of y'all, the high priestess, three of sword. Y'all broke somebody's heart, a grandmother's heart with this, with, with all this excitement and arguing in front of the kids, uh, talking about each other in front of the kids, calling each other's all bad names and stuff. This is a third party situation, a three of sword energy that needs to be dealt with. Again, counseling, right? The queen of wands, hot mama summer. Let's see. Yep. Look at their 10 of wands with the 10 of wands right beside it. So you guys had definitely went after somebody that didn't, didn't put up a fight. Somebody that didn't challenge you guys. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm seeing this is a coward person. So again, eight of the eight of cups over here, uh, this person, uh, had, had a lot of burdens, had a lot of worries. Again, y'all left those burdens behind with somebody that cheated with, like I said, somebody that had some red hair, red wig, could have been a red head for some of you guys with some fair skin, somebody young, uh, somebody more flary, flamboyant, uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the 10 of wands. Like I said, the five of sword, they left y'all struggling. Okay. Y'all doing everything. Let's see what else you got. See 10 of wands. Nine of, two nine of wands with a ten of wands and a five of sword. You guys put, you just put up a wall. You guys put up a wall, did what you had to do, became that Superman, Superwoman, did it all, and didn't even worry about the shit. So let's see this knight of sword, Gemini, Libra, Chris, with this six of sword, lover's card. This is a past lover trying to come back. This is somebody that had multiple lovers, or this is somebody from y'all past and ex. Gemini and Gemini Libra Aquarius, the six of sword, they felt y'all moving on. Look at there. They want to come back and start this thing all over. So this person is definitely trying to ease their little way back in. They want to say they sorry. You got the ace of sword with the ace of wand. Uh, and they want to they want to clarify. They want to keep y'all from moving on. Uh, they want a new passionate start. I don't think this shit going to happen. But uh, I, I, I don't know who the fuck this is. Eight of cups. What is this? Two of cup. Whoa. See, somebody leaving for their soulmate. Somebody left for their soulmate. Y'all lesson was yourself. You left for a higher level love for yourself because you found out that this was not the type of relationship you guys wanted to be in. You didn't deserve uh, this person. Like I said, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All they did was party and celebrate and drink. 
uh, and go out and that was not what you guys signed up for. So it caused a lot of disagreements. So take what resonates. If y'all got uh, Taurus in your chart, rising sun, moon, and Venus, y'all could have Libra, Venus also uh, in your chart. Y'all in going through a divorce uh, and y'all are fighting among your children. You could have two children, a boy and a girl, or some twins. That is what's going on with this two of cups. Now y'all have decided to walk away because this was not what y'all wanted for y'all self. Ooh, God damn. Talk about the energy change up. These cars brought on a whole motherfucking energy. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay. Magician card under the bottom. So again, somebody was manifesting something using their willpower. Uh, again, uh, manifesting a new life. Clarify spirit. Anything else you want to give uh, for the Tauruses? Okay, that fell in reverse, but it's going to go upright. Four of Wands. It started out in in reverse and now this is you guys finally found your balance some of you guys may be finding a new love and moving toward a new love with that knight of sword and that lover's card and you guys have moved on to love again for some of you guys that's beautiful and the three of wands look at there y'all no longer expecting you guys are on your way you're taking a map a road trip uh y'all about to take off again you were waiting at first but i don't feel like y'all are going to wait anymore four of wands you guys are about to be remarried so some of you guys are just thinking about what happened, learning those lessons, right? So then you got the chariot card. Yep. What did I say? You guys are moving on. You got maybe two dogs. Uh, one of them may be wounded with the little back wheels on the legs because something happened to it. Uh, a black and a white dog. You got balance moving forward. Okay. You got control of your higher and your lower self. You're both of your subconscious and your uh, consciousness. And you guys got what it takes. You're, you're leaving behind Things that no longer serve you, you're leaving behind possibly the city life for some of you guys. Uh, again, and relocating. Page of Swords. Somebody's definitely spying. Look at there. Somebody that is toxic around you guys. Uh, you guys are about to cut loose, let loose. Somebody's speaking evil about y'all. Gemini, Leave Aquarius. They could be spreading gossip about you guys. Two of Pentacles. Somebody was juggling you guys, trying to throw you guys off of balance as well with all the toxicity, with all the back talk and all the gossip. Uh, you guys may have been hearing it. You you guys are bringing things together. You guys put two and two together on who this person was. Could have been an Aquarius here. That's the star card. And it's definitely having to do with y'all wish fulfillment and y'all success. You guys getting everything that you guys asked for. Oh, so this is somebody jealous, huh? That was in reverse over that high priestess and that three of sword here. So let's see what it is. What it is and what it was. The three of pentacles. Somebody. Oh, it was over a collaboration. All right. Look at there. Justice. Libra coming out again. Okay. This is a look at there. Counseling. See what I'm saying? Some of you guys need to go check on your mental health. Some of you guys were verbally abused, physically abused in your relationship, in your marriage. And it's affecting you guys. Or you guys may have already uh, sought uh, divorce, court, uh, child support, alimony. Uh, uh, seeing a lawyer or talking to some type of counselor, uh, a legal, legal professional counselor. Okay. Somebody with the courts that could help you guys sort through the litigations of things, right? The justice card Libra could be some real estate involved. And that's could be what y'all third party person is definitely going through too. And again, four of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, y'all got somebody spying on y'all. Uh, y'all got a hidden enemy, which is a friend. Uh, that's looking over y'all shoulder, frowning at what y'all doing. Look at her hands crossed. Look how jealous this person is because you guys are getting all the, all the play. You guys are getting all the excitement in your life. Y'all told y'all them besties. Y'all going to get enough of that shit. Seven of swords. Look how somebody sneaking back in after they've been a night on the town. So somebody definitely is sneaking back in, trying to get away with some information, sneaking out the house at night. Uh, again, Ooh, somebody could be following y'all social media, sneaking around, uh, trying, look at there. It could be that friend y'all talking about, look at old blondie sneaking out there, going to sleep with somebody, man. Look at her looking at their phone. Look at her looking at like, uh-huh, I caught you. Somebody holding back some information that they seen about somebody sneaking in and out and around about. Look at there. Could be somebody being followed and investigated right there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra and venus and there's the three of pinnacle it was all over collaborations over some business deals or some partnerships okay Ooh, damn this is something Ooh. oh lord y'all these, these oh shit these weeklies gonna be something else okay i'm just saying i wasn't even gonna do them individual but goddamn i'm kind of glad i did it's gonna take me a minute y'all gonna have to give me a minute to get all these bookers out all right because i got other privates to do too hair fence. 
You guys could be into the Egyptian, the ancient that arose. Uh, again, you are the Hierophant mentor type person. Again, Hierophant is out twice. Okay, let's see what's going on. King of Wands. Y'all got this little thug thizzle here. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. It could be definitely somebody uh, cheated on their person or somebody is about to meet their match. King of Wands, baby. Somebody that's very uh, uh, outgoing, charismatic, carefree, look, liberated, right? Like their freedom. Look at their Ten of Cups. They want to marry. You guys want to, oh, y'all want to get hitched in, uh, in the hip with a thug thizzle, Casanova, huh? You guys want your happily ever after with somebody that's, you know, liberal, like what you call liberate you. Somebody needs some liberation here for the nation. Page of Wands. Aries Leo said, look at the little unicorn. Look at the little unicorn. Is that a unicorn and a dinosaur? Is that a little unicorn and a dinosaur? Oh, Lord, look at that. Somebody coming towards y'all with some communication. Y'all in a new cycle. You guys are doing things that make y'all happy. Y'all taking charge of your life with that King of Wands energy. And you guys are doing the things that y'all are passionate about. Five of Pentacles. Y'all have come out of that poverty-like mindset uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, you guys are no longer out in the cold. You guys are like somebody scratching at the door, want to come in. This person could have been stood up at the altar here. That looks like a church and it looks like they got a wedding gown on. So maybe this person called this off. Look at there, the seven of wands. You guys are, are, are making a pact to double team some, some type of uh, resistance, stand y'all ground, stand up for, maybe this is women's rights or besties, or it could be like a LBGT type of mixed stuff here. ABXYZ stuff going on here. Uh, again, with this, this group, this, this, whoever is up against you guys, you guys are going to farm some type of allegiance or partnership here. Hierophant could be marriage, could be a higher level of commitment, fighting for women's rights or something like that. Uh, uh, doing what's best for women and children, uh, mentoring young women and children, young ladies. What else spirit for Taurus, Taurus, uh, week of January 1st through the 15th. 2022 take what resonate y'all leave the rest let me know below like subscribe hit that notification bell button and let me know if this is something you guys been had went through or is going through now you guys look at there two of cups heart to heart talk with your soulmate so you guys definitely are about i got the goosebumps you guys are definitely about to meet your soulmate look at the blue cardinal and the red the the blue can, it was canary cardinal and the red cardinal so you guys could be seeing the blue jay blue jays that's what it is blue jays and the red cardinals and if you guys are look those animal totems up because that is somebody from the past usually i believe if it's a if it's a red cardinal that's an ancestor so when you see that that's a message from the ancestor so look it up and see what you were thinking about uh, at the time you see these red, this red cardinal and this blue jay, right? Remind you of Republican and Democrat, huh? So that's what I'm saying. Same bird, two wings, the same motherfucking bird, right? Again, y'all are a divine pair of mutual energy. That tells y'all, y'all belong together. Y'all belong together because y'all see you love each other's differences. Your soulmate, there's a little heart right there. This is somebody y'all love. You're going to drink coffee. You're going to have a nice yard, uh, probably a a garden or a patch of land, and you guys are gonna grow old together. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that. Two cups twice. All right, y'all pay attention to these doubles. I know I'm kind of going Speedy Gonzalez here, but this this is a lot of energy and a lot of channel messages I'm picking up. So patch it together on how y'all do. Look at that, a fool card, new beginning. Taking that leap of faith. You guys are in a new cycle, a new beginning, and you guys are about to find love in one or two days, in one or two weeks, one or two months, possibly on the 12th, okay? Somebody's gonna be coming back in. What is this? Look, the Knight of Cups, Mr. Romeo. Somebody wants to take y'all out, probably gonna be the third wheel, or somebody about to hook y'all up, all right, with the person of y'all dream. So this might be a hookup. Maybe y'all look at, what? damn, what? Did y'all see that? Who the hell is this? Eight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Hold on. There's one under my desk here. This is the Three of Wands at the top, face down up here by the Five of Swords with the husband. This is something in the past. So this Three of three of Wands falls up here by the Five of Swords with the, the couple, boyfriend, a girlfriend, significant other, arguing in front of the children. Three of Wands going their separate, away, separate ways, uh, no longer waiting. No longer working things out. Six of Pentacles. Y'all are going for more balance, reciprocity, relationship. Let me see what's down here. Oh, Lord. The damn thing went all the way back here. So it was in reverse. It was in reverse. And when I picked it up, it came up right. The Knight of Cups. 
So you guys are dealing with somebody coming towards y'all, a Knight of Cups. Y'all may be getting hooked up. This could definitely be a same-sex relationship. This could be a guy that likes, uh, well, partying. Uh, uh, or this is a mother, father, and a son, possibly. I'm trying to figure out if this person uh, likes this young boy. So you guys could be dealing with somebody fooling with your children. I don't know about that. But anyway, look it up here. Look what landed up here with the emperor and the party and four of cups is the eight of pentacles. Somebody, this is same sex. So they, I think this deck has the LBGTQ stuff in it. Uh, I don't do those readings, but I wanted to see what these cards were like. I liked some of the images on the cards. So this is LBGTQ stuff here. This could be... Yeah, cupcake. This is like two men. So you y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was on the down low. Oops. Y'all could have been dealing with somebody on the down low or somebody that like father son relationship. Ooh. Or like I said, somebody that was on the down low and that's what broke up the marriage. For some of you guys, you got a down low person here. You got a person that likes both sexes. Whoa. Who? Okay, well, we got girls here, too. I mean, they could be besties or not. Uh, so let's we're going to keep this going and see what else is going on, Spirit. What else you got to tell? I'm going to leave that up there because that seems to be important. It flipped up there with those two uh, right there by that four of cups. So this person could have been whining and dining the same sex. Metrosexual, LBGTQ, men with men. It could be women with women, too. Uh, uh, but let's go forward here. So y'all dealing with somebody here. That could have been that person that was with that four of pentacles that was looking over y'all's shoulder, jealous of y'all because they liked y'all. So yeah, okay, now it's making sense. This could have been that person. Y'all bestie likes y'all. Y'all but y'all bestie has some type of attraction or your homeboy has some type of attraction to y'all. Four of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? You guys definitely... Um, doing some resting and relaxation uh, about to come in in a couple of days probably probably going to be taking a vacation and probably like two to four weeks one to four weeks another month or so uh again uh okay i'm gonna stop right there because this is oh okay y'all i don't know what that shit's about but somebody <laughs> on the down low and nobody gotta know you're gonna keep it on the down low. I don't know what the fuck going on with these cards, but God just am, okay? I am telling on some motherfuckers out there. Y'all got somebody sleeping around on y'all with the same sex, okay? All right, yeah, the truth is about to come out. For some of y'all, y'all about to find out. Yep, y'all about to find out. Mm-hmm. Why your person was out partying? Uh-huh. Living a double life. Living a double life. Somebody out there is living a double life. Maybe somebody got catfished. I like that show, Catfished, or what is it called when they 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 creep around the cheaters? Uh, could have been swingers. Could have been cheaters. Could have been catfished or not catfished. What do you call it? Uh... When you show up and they're not who they are or they're married or I, I forget what it's called. It might be catfish. Maybe I'm mixing up the term. Y'all let me know down below what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Cause that, that, that shit went kind of cuckoo. You know, it went from a mad marriage to a separation to a divorce to some fucking counseling to some LBGQABXYZ. You know, ah, I'm like, who is that to sing? Ah, 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 that Johnny Taylor or whoever. I think I love the song. What's that song, y'all? Look at that. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is that work in your love life. So it was divine timing that you guys broke up because some of you guys were, like I said, was dealing with somebody on a low-key fucking whatever. Y'all get the point. Getting to know each other. That was on the down low. Whether it was a female or a male, whether it was your bestie, all right? As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I bet. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah, so if y'all marriage broke up, it definitely was It was somebody messing with little boys, little youngins. Look at there. Possibly messing with their son. I don't know. 
getting to know each other came out. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Let go of control issues for some of you guys. Uh, allow this stuff to unfold naturally. Yep, letting go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Engagement. So some of you guys are going to remarry, but I feel like you guys are going to find out your person was on the down low. But I feel like y'all are over it either way. Either way did it go, y'all are over it. And this is not everybody. Take what resonates. You know, take what resonates. Yeah, engagement and hunt. Whoa! Engagement and honeymoon comes out. You guys enjoy the holiday bliss time together. Your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment. We saw the hair fin, I think, twice. We saw justice twice. Look at that. Free y'all self. Uh, we saw a little unicorn and a dragon or dinosaur. Uh, it's time to take back control of your life, which is why you guys need to stand up and take control over your life. Again, celebrate four of cups. Think about a third party when they met this person and... I don't know what this has to do with it. It could have been a birthday party or some type of New Year's party. And from there, that's where they hooked up at and they kept it on the down low. So I feel like this person kept this on the down low for probably like eight years. You know, that they were sneaking behind y'all back seeing this down low person. And I feel like, I don't know if it's going to come out or not, or the person is trying. I need to find out with the other card what's going on with this person. Uh, where's my other cards at? Where them damn cards at, y'all? Where's my cards at? Oh, Lord. I'm looking for... Well, shit. Where they at? I'm looking for... Oh, here it is. I'm looking for these. Let's find out what's going on before I do Moonology. With this person spirit. What is going on? Is this a karmic... Uh... Is this a false person? Is there bribery here? Let's find out if there's bribery here. Like there's some closeness between whoever this is. This is somebody close to this person. Like it's it's like they got pretty close. They could have been a family friend, could have been a bestie, and they were sneaking around down low. Taurus, rising sun, moon, Venus, this for y'all. Y'all let me know that y'all find out something about this shit. All right. About y'all person. Look, okay, that's in reverse. So we got lovers car right there, Gemini. We know that came out. So there was some lovers. There was a privileged lady here. Maybe this lady hooked them up. Thief. Oh my God. Oh, I got the goosebumps. Oh my God. What's going on, Spirit? What happened? What happened with this Eight of Pentacles and this Emperor and this party, this Four of Cups? Unexpected income and over engagement. And look at that. Over engagement and honeymoon. Somebody's about to get, this person is thinking about you guys and there's going to be some unexpected money. It could have been a bribe because that was one of the questions I asked. Was this a bribe? Was this a bribe? Like, look how they sitting in each other's crouch. LBGTQ. All right. I ain't got nothing against y'all. A, B, C, Y, X, Y, Z. You know, I'm just saying this is what the cards are. So this could have been a, 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 a same sex, uh, could have been a same sex marriage. And this is what happened to the same sex marriage too, if you're a Taurus too. So, or you could have been a single person and this is what happened to y'all. Uh, this is what happened to y'all person or y'all marriage. This person hooked up with somebody else that hooked them up with this. And it could have been that swinger shit. If y'all had a party or person that always was going out, that's why the fuck they was going out, staying out late. Y'all probably thought it was another woman. It was a man it, or it was the same sex or it was a friend. And I asked, was there going to be a bribery? And the first card that come out is unexpected income. Somebody was bribing somebody. They're, they're bribing them to keep quiet, possibly. They're exchanging hands or favors. It could have been a prostitute. Could have been a male escort. Oh, shit. This shit getting deep. Could have been a, a male escort uh, that was going on here. What else, Spirit, about this unexpected income? Look, thief again. Thief again. This person was stealing. This person was stealing. This person had to do this to keep their mouth shut, else their secrets were going to be exposed. Look at there. And a child. I don't know what the child got to do with it. A house got to do with it. Maybe they had a child. Maybe, the, well, we know we had. they had two. Uh, 
and then now there's a child that somebody needs to pay. Maybe they got this other person that hooked them up pregnant. And all of this is around centered around this child and somebody not finding out that they were married and they got a child on the outside. Oh, fucking shit. You know, because LBGT people will go and have babies on the outside and then come back and then be back with their person. That's the only way y'all fucking ass can get pregnant. Now, we all ain't stupid. All right. Unless you do a paying for surrogate shit, which most is not paying for no fucking surrogate shit. They go in stage being like they they on that side to go get knocked up, have a baby and be back on the LBGT side. We already know what the fucking deal is, y'all. Nobody fucking stupid. All right. It's just you fellas don't be fucking knowing or either don't be fucking caring. And whatever happened, this could have happened to that person, to y'all marriage. Your, your person got hooked up with same sex shit. So somebody could have a baby and they're getting bribed possibly. I don't know. Y'all figure the shit out. I'm just, I'm just challenging here in some fucking uh, scenarios and narratives. I don't know what the fuck going on. See there. And somebody could be going to jail. Uh, somebody definitely could be going to jail or in a mental prison about it. Uh, it's haunting their ass. Like they think that they may go to jail for prostitution, for illegal prostitution or something. I have no idea y'all. Something's going on though. Look at there, a wealthy man and a child. Look at that card lands on that baby. Somebody's wealthy man did this. Somebody that had well, well, clout. Look at there, marriage. Marriage comes up again. So there is definitely going to be a marriage, but I don't know what it has to do with that card right here. Somebody wants to work something out, but same sex. I don't know. Same sex. Somebody want to work something out with y'all. What else, spirit? Look at their official person. Wow. And a mature man. So there's definitely going to be a official letter or something from the court, or this is a legitimate person or deal or bribe. I don't know if it's such a thing as a legitimate bribe, but it is somebody that has some clout. It's somebody that's official. It's from the court, from the law, right? Uh, somebody of high regard or reward. Somebody, like I said, some CEO or business person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this emperor, right? Somebody that got some fucking clout. You know, they got some fucking clout. They got some fucking secrets too. Damn, I don't, I don't, I don't. Maybe they want y'all so they don't look this way. Look at their expectation, marriage, official person. Maybe they doing this. Look at their great fortune. They are going to pay y'all for this. They don't want to look. Oh, I don't want to say gay. They don't want to look like they like the same sex. You know, whoever this person is, they only married y'all so they wouldn't look like they like the same sex. But on the download, they did like the same sex. You see what I'm saying? They was hooking up with this person. Or either this is somebody fucking with y'all's son. Take it how it resonates. Y'all might want to ask your sons. All right. Y'all got teenage sons because this guy looks like a man, but that looks like a little teenage boy. So this person likes little boys. They could be getting next to y'all because of to get to y'all sons. But this is definitely some, some bribery going on. Maybe y'all sold y'all child to this man. Uh, and that's what this fear is all about. Great fortune, all about somebody wanting to marry somebody to cover up some shit that they've done so they don't appear. Look at their journey. Some of you guys need to rest, need to take a break. You know, again, occupation, working hard, working with your hands. Uh, what else? Somebody possibly did it because they needed the money. All right. Expect a message of concern. Maybe they caught something. Oh, imprisonment. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe they caught something or it had something to do with this girl, this little baby. This little baby and this wealthy man keeps coming out together. So I feel like somebody wants somebody to have a baby from them uh, for them, you know, or buy them, or maybe they did. And they're expecting un some unexpected income, message of concern. Maybe you found some something out that this person had or is going to jail, maybe had something sexually transmitted, you know, or just going to jail. Judification. And I'm not saying you got to be gay to get that or, home, you know, LBGT because you don't have to be that to get that. But there is bad health. So this is a person with bad health that needs the money and desperate to get the money to take care of their health. We do know that. 
and I'm not saying that it's coming from LBGTQ because you can be straight and still get shit because everybody sleeps with damn near everybody in the world. It's a big one big orgy, right? That's why you got to protect your energy and not be hoes and not be, you know, hoish and Jezebelish because you never know what somebody's bringing you and you never know somebody's lifestyle. You know, that's why it's not about, you look at there, this person could have died and left money or this person is terminally ill. I don't know who the fuck this is. This is fucked up. Whoa, this is fucked up. Taurus, who the fuck is this? Y'all better let me know what the fuck going on. You know, there's a coffin, so there is an ending, which brings about a new beginning, but there's bad health too. So this person could be terminally ill. All right, whoever this is, you know, they could have been terminally ill. They could have already passed away. Look at there, coming from poverty, grew up poor, impoverished, lack mindset. Uh, like I said, Desperado here needed it for money. Now somebody's getting a letter that maybe this person did go to jail, died in jail. They found out something and this is the official letter that's going to be delivered to this woman by this official person about all of this that transpired. Oh, wait, I don't know. Y'all, what the fuck is this? This energy took a fucking 180, god damn it. I don't know. Community. Wow. Woo. Maybe this person, I don't know what the money has to do with it. Besides, somebody wants y'all to have a big, look, bad health again. Bad fucking health. Bad fucking health. Who is this? We're going to go back to the cards. This shit is getting, who are we talking? Oh, look at there. Cards don't even want to fucking talk. They don't want me to let this shit out, but I'm going to get this shit out. Who the fuck is this? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Look at there. Seven for seven. You can't even make that motherfucking shit up. Look at this bitch here. Seven for seven, baby. What? Seven of swords, seven of wands. Y'all protecting yourself against this motherfucker. He lurking. Look. Jail time. Eight of swords is that jail imprisonment right there. Seven, eight. Y'all have blocked this person. This person can't. Look at there. Y'all got the victory. Y'all been saved and spared by this person by blocking y'all fucking energy. Because this motherfucker was toxic. I don't. This person is terminal as fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting messages. Don't, don't pay me no mind. I'm just. I'm hearing shit. But seven, block y'all, continue to stand y'all ground and block y'all energy. Look at that hair offense, higher level commitment. Look at there, somebody being vindictive, malicious. Look at this shit, y'all. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they got it in for y'all. Higher level love committed it, commit, committed it, <laughs> commitment. This person could be in bad health and need y'all healing. And y'all have the power to heal this person from this terminal disease, this deathly disease here. Or, or from going to prison. Or from going to prison. Who is this damn person, spirit? Who is this person, spirit? Who is this coffin, this bad health, this imprisonment? Who is this person, spirit? Who is this person? All right, we got, look at there. Emperor out twice. Four of wands up here. Knight of cups here by the wealthy man. Temperance right here. So we got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio by the wealthy man, the emperor by the coffin, and the four of wands up here by the expectation, the imprisonment, and the marriage card. Some balance coming to somebody's life. Things are coming back into balance here and being patient, divine Sagittarius. So emperor is out twice. So we know we're talking about a fire sign that's terminally ill. That's in bad health, possibly. Or that, I mean, I'm saying terminally ill you know, I I don't know terminally, terminally per se, but we know there's bad health and there's a great fortune and there's a thief. All right. So the thief is there, the great fortune there and the bad health is there. So they could be trying to do this to get some money to pay for their health, needing some money to pay for their health. Uh, again, like I said, same sex married, but possibly doing some other cover down low shit. All right. Clarify this emperor spirit. Yeah, some things are going to be, yeah, there's going to be a decision. Some things are going to be moving out or coming out toward this person. So y'all are going to be able to make a decision. Uh, again, 
Be patient. Don't rush things. Take y'all time. Hangman. This person is trying to get y'all caught up. Hang, hangman. Somebody's trying to get y'all caught up. Look at there. Hairfin. This person sees y'all as the one that has the, 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 oh shit. Oh fuck. This person sees y'all are the one that can get them off the fucking hook with the court. Oh my God. I got the goosebumps. Y'all, this person sees y'all can get them off the fucking hook. Period. Tuh. Okay. Y'all got that supernatural connection to the source. Y'all are mentor. This person hung and sprung. This person hung themselves. This person needs a change in perception. This person stuck with this attachment to something that could have a court thing that they're, they're going to be hung for. And they're trying to get off. And like I said, some of them could need the money because they're ill and they need the care. So they need the money. And then there look like there could be a court case of suing here because a thief and fortune and unexpected bribery money and then undercover shit. So I feel like this is that damn Bishop Long shit. I really fucking feel like it's the Bishop Long shit. Now, this could definitely be a, a girl, too. Don't get me wrong. This could be this man messing with a little girl or this man messing with a boy. But it's, it's oh, shit, this motherfucker is in deep doo-doo, okay? What else, spirit? What are they hiding, spirit? What are they hiding? What are they hiding? De oh, shit, fuck. Y'all... What of the fuck are they fucking hiding? We got Aquarius. The death card falls on the emperor and the motherfucking moon. Air sign and a water sign. That's life, death, and rebirth. It's the end for this person. Look at there. You guys are going to be taking a new beginning, taking a direction, taking a new direction. And there's somebody hiding something, you know, doing something behind y'all back. Look at there. To keep y'all confused and to keep y'all from moving forward and finding out. Or the truth getting out in some way. Somebody's trying to keep from going to prison possibly or keeping somebody mentally in their head like Fred and Frida confused so that they don't fucking find out and move forward. With that chariot card. Look at there. They trying to stress the fuck out of y'all. Look at there. Because y'all got this abundance coming. That's soulmate twin flame. And y'all got victory. And look at that coming. And y'all walked away from this fucker. Y'all walked away from this collaboration. And so this person wants to bring something to an end, possibly. Y'all could be dealing with a, air, a fire sign and a water sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a Scorpio. Some shit is about to get out. Oh my God, somebody taking a leap of faith, fool card, new beginning for some of you guys. This shit is about to come full circle. What is this Aquarius fool card about? What is this new beginning about, spirit? Clarify the new beginning for Taurus. Look at there, Ace of Cup. Ace of Cup, new beginning, spirit. What is this new beginning about? New beginning. Queen of Wands. That's that Queen of Wands we saw in the reading. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody doing magic. Look at there. Justice. Woo! Fuck! Oh, shit! I'm gonna stop! I'm gonna stop while my ass is ahead! Fred and Freda, goddamn, girl! Goddamn! Look at this justice lands on this leap of faith. This is about y'all getting the fucking justice y'all deserve. From whoever this motherfucker was doing this underhanded shit to y'all. Look at that emperor, that death card, that fucking seven of sword, and a soulmate under the bottom. Oh, I got the goosebumps. Look at this. Look. This person fucked with destiny. This fucker tried to make sure y'all stay out of the cold, cause some confusion between y'all and the soulmate. 
the past life person that y'all stay out in the fucking cold, queen of sword, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could have been a female narcissist. This could have been somebody hating on y'all low key. Like I said, with that women shit, look at there. Cause y'all got that new ace of pinnacle. Y'all got that. What? That world card. Y'all got that. What? That soulmate, that heart to heart. And y'all got that. What? What? Did I say not say narcissist? Y'all were dealing with a femi female narcissist. Could have been a masculine. Could have been a female that didn't want to see y'all happy. Possessive, controlling, manipulated, wanted y'all out in the cold, was trying to cause confusion so y'all person would not come toward y'all. Baby, somebody is sick. I'm going to tell y'all what. Whoever did this to y'all Tarses, they better go get their shit checked. <laughs> they better go get their shit checked. When I say they better go get the fucking shit checked out of they fucking ass, <laughs> they better go get the shit checked. Because what they tried to wish on y'all is definitely happening to them by the court, by the most high. Libra, Venus, Aquarius, y'all are getting y'all fucking justice. This motherfucker going to jail. The eight of swords showed up so many damn times I lost fucking count. This person definitely tried to, come, look at this, tried to end somebody's marriage, may have sent somebody to jail or sent somebody away doing that magic shit, whatever the fuck they were doing, uh, or low-key hating, sending evil energy that way, whatever, whether they know it or not, right? I said that at 50, 55. So again, this is soulmate energy and spirit is like, y'all new beginning gonna be balanced. Y'all gonna have this new cup of love, all of this shit coming back around. Right. And somebody here with that coffin, look, it fell on the coffin under, under, look at that. What? Somebody was trying to put a gag order on somebody. Gag order. This is horrendous. I don't even know if horrendous is a fucking word for it, really. I don't even fucking know, Taurus. I don't know what the fuck y'all got y'all asking to, but these motherfuckers low-key hating like a motherfucker. Let's find out this energy. I was trying to do the moonology, but I need to find out, Spirit, what is this about? Who is this person? We already know Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hell, every motherfucker out in the mama and the grandmama too. But you know what I'm saying? That Aquarius, that justice falling on that Aquarius, that could be y'all corporate. And this death card falling on that uh, that emperor, trying to bind y'all, trying to keep y'all trapped, trying to keep y'all mentally confused or stuck or stagnant. Like I said, this is a lot of court shit. This is a lot of lit litigation. Door to spirit. Caring connection. Told you so, mate. Look at there. Gemini leave Aquarius, somebody hostile because... Y'all got the door and the connection to spirit. Y'all got a caring connection, heart-to-heart -heart talk. Y'all got soulmate coming in, and this is people jealous. What? That's the thinking man in reverse. Man holding the heart. Look at there. They don't... Oh, my gosh. And this is in reverse. This is somebody's sun going down. This is somebody low energy, low vibrating, thinking man. It could be an air sign. Again, y'all got a man holding the heart here. So this is definitely an air sign, Leo sign. Somebody that doesn't want y'all sun to shine, doesn't want some shit to come out. Uh, they possibly are doing some magic because it looked like he got some magic in his hand. Or holding some crystals or focusing, you know, their attention, trying to, trying to rob y'all of y'all abundance and sunshine. Uh, again, like I said, they're using uh, salt, telepathy. They're concentrating, meditating. Uh, could be low energy, low vibrating, adjacent doors. Wow, because y'all closed the door on this person. Y'all didn't accept them fucking them tricks and stuff. This could have been a magician. Look at their contract Libra coming in again. This person was this person was trying to trap y'all with some type of contract, soul tie contract, or some type of uh, relationship legal. They're they're in legal stuff. They're trapped in legal shit. Whoever this shit is. Look at there. Y'all got the victory and success again. Spirit ain't gonna let y'all. Look at there. They mad too. They mad. They is fucking mad. Look at there. Because y'all. Look at there. They tried to fucking block y'all sunshine. That was y'all destiny and fate. Y'all soulmate connection. And look what y'all got coming in. Victory and abundance. Blossom in abundance. This person needed y'all abundance. Somebody's in some legal troubles here. Look at there. 
Somebody's in some legal troubles. Who is this? Blossom in abundance. Healer of the ages. Moon. Goddess of the moon. Y'all could feel something was wrong. So this was two air signs. Thinking man and a thinking woman working together. Man holding a heart. Man holding a coin. Y'all had three different people and y'all walked away from all them motherfuckers. You walked away from an air sign, a heart, a, a cup sign, a water sign, and a fucking coin sign. And y'all finna walk right into y'all abundance because of it. Because none of these motherfuckers was good. Spirit, spirit said, nah, mm-mm, not my child. Spirit saw what they were doing behind y'all back. Spirit saw what they were plotting behind y'all back, right? Trying to rob y'all abundance, trying to make y'all confused. Y'all wouldn't know which door to go through. You wouldn't know what choices to pick concerning your destiny. Now these motherfuckers is definitely ill. They fucking terminally ill. Some of these motherfuckers will be dying soon. Y'all will hear about the terminal disease. Y'all gonna fucking hear. They gonna start looking sick and start withering the fuck away. Y'all gonna know. They're, they're gonna start aging rapidly. They're gonna start looking like death fucking warmed over. Shit is gonna start hitting the fucking fan. I'm telling y'all. Y'all might wanna, you might wanna save this one. You might wanna save this one. Cause the extent of this here... And this new beginning being judged and being balanced by that Aquarius new beginning food card being balanced by Venus uh, Libra, which is contracts and relationships. Somebody's connection is tied. It's severed. It's severed. That's, that shit ain't going down. That shit ain't going down like that. Wow. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Bring love into the situation. New Aquarius. And a fiery climax approaches Taurus. Woo, Taurus Cap. Taurus, this is for your rising sun, moon, Venus. I don't know what the fuck. This is, I ain't never did nothing like this. These cars brought a whole new goddamn <laughs> narrative out. A new start is coming. A new start is coming. Look at that. Energy is gaining momentum, waxing crescent moon. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon Pisces. Y'all got that new start, that food card coming, that ace of cup. That we saw. Spirit is, look, yeah, time to give y'all self, time to think about y'all self first, put y'all self first, invest in y'all self first because these people have taken so much from y'all. Uh, and look at there, nothing will come void of that situation. Uh, void course moon. And now spirit is like elevating y'all. Look, look at there. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. It was in reverse, but I flipped it back up. You look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. You guys got your free, look at this. Dang, you guys got your freedom now. You can move around. You can shoot big, aim big, fiery climax. That's that five of one energy, right? They're trying to cause all type of ruckus and confusion to keep this shit from coming out. Show the world the real you, right? Uh, full moon and Aquarius, have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. And again, look at there, the news, that's y'all clarification right there, Tauruses. A new start is definitely coming with this new moon. Uh, again, in Pisces, uh, probably around Pisces uh, season, surrender to the divine and let the divine take care of whatever this is. Y'all just go on y'all way, full moon, surrender to the divine. Don't try to control the outcome. Don't do nothing. Let karma take care of it. Keep y'all ass spotless. I'm just saying y'all are divinely protected. Look at there, the sun card and the eight of pentacles. Okay, somebody want to work this out between a father and son too. Could be somebody want to work that out between a father and son. I know that was Aries and Scorpio because that Scorpio fell on that uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius needing to work something out with their son. That could have been what it meant too for some of y'all because it fell right up there by that Aries card, that four of cups and that eight of pentacles. So there could have been some, something that needs to be worked out between a fire sign and a water sign, daughter or son, whichever one y'all have, Tauruses. Look at there, seven of swords. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a done daughter, y'all. It's a done motherfucking dot, 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 dot. All right. 
I'll see y'all on the 16th through the end of the month for your other one. I'll be doing some bonuses in between for y'all uh, bull game. But this is your January the 1st through the 15th. January 2022, our first reading of the so-called first year. But it's not. It, it happens in spring. But we're going to just roll with the shit. It's still winter. All right. Either way it go. It's still fucking winter. All right. Spring is not until March. So, again, make sure y'all go to my website. Uh, new merch up. I got Kimism t-shirts and straight out of Kim Arts University. I'm trying to get uploaded to my website. <laughs> I'm still finishing up y'all privates. Uh, again, and also... Uh, you want to order private readings, go on the website every other Wednesday, starting at the 5th is your $25 10-minute read readings. That's the only day you can book those $25 10-minute readings is on every other Wednesday, which is half price Wednesday is what it's called on the website starting at the 5th. So the next one will be January the 26th. All right. So if you want a $25 10-minute reading, that's your days to book it. That's the only days you can book it. All right. And it's going to be going through March. So from January to March, every other, every other Wednesday, half price Wednesday, $25, 10 minutes started on January the 5th. All right. Uh, and then go every other from there. All right. I think that's it for now. I can't remember nothing else. All right. And make sure you go to my Patreon account down below. The link is down below uh, for the extendants. We're going to get those out. Or I'm going to get those out. And then also my TikTok channel, my clubhouse, and all the other pages I got down below in the description box. You can keep up with any new updates there or any new updates on my website at www.kimarts.org. All right. And also, if you want to donate to my charity, Feed 48, you're welcome to donate 3% of the t-shirts and the hoodies on my merch store. Go to that. I put extra money in also. And also, uh, or you can just write a donation all right every quarter i'm going to be giving it out i'm going to be trying to get the homeless some socks some coats or some blankets for the winter for what's left of it because it's going to probably get pretty cold out there after you know that so-called groundhog shit uh it's probably gonna be another six weeks so i want to try to get them some socks i usually save it up for the quarter but i may just leave that there and then just use my own money to go do that uh to get them some clean socks especially if they're diabetics out there they need clean socks uh on their feet and blankets and coats and stuff. So we're gonna hopefully try to make a run down South Dallas and Oak Cliff to Tent City and hand out some socks, one of these, you know, before it get too bad uh, out there. And let me see what else. Or like I said, y'all can just uh, cash out and just say feed 48 uh, donation. I also have a building fund as well. Uh, so you can just put building fund I think a couple of people sent me traveling pop up, pop ups, uh, to pop up traveling to your city near you. Uh, but we got Rona girl and her cousins back out on the loose, you know, uh, wreaking havoc. Probably finna shut shit down again. So y'all be safe out there if y'all all traveling, okay? Uh, in those bunches, in those clusters of groups, you ain't gotta be in fear, but just take your precautions like you've been taking your precautions. If y'all never stop taking precautions. Uh, so that way you stay ready. You ain't got to what? Get ready. That's what I'm talking about. All right, bull gang for life. Y'all know what time it is. The year of the ox is Taurus season. Year motherfucking round. God damn it. All right. Go bulls. Peace. <laughs>